passion that's mine. <laughs> Give us all life, honey. Stop it! Give us all <laughs> life, honey. Yes, honey. Go away! Hey, hey. Welcome back to Feminine Success TV. I'm your host, Yaya Smith. And Join me weekly as I share tips to help you find your feminine flow, elevate your thought life, organize your home life, deepen your fulfillment, and improve your relationships with step-by-step -step solutions to have sustainable success. I've helped thousands of women worldwide create total transformations. Now you can get the support you want to get your whole life. Welcome. Welcome back to Feminine Success TV. Today is a great day. Um, I am excited to share something a little different, a little, a little different than what I normally share. Because listen, I know I can be very serious. I am usually spinning around my house, laughing with my children, enjoying my husband, and playing in my toy box. So today, I'm going to share some of my toy box with you. Some of the favorite things that I have purchased, um, specifically, got to be specific, specifically today we are talking about all things Pat McGrath lip products. Here they are. Good Lord. <laughs> That is a uh, two, four, six, thirteen full size and two minis that I had actually purchased for my daughter. But I think these colors are a little grown for a two year old. And so I gave her the blow up. It, it's just like a, a neutral beige pink kind of shade gave her the blow up did I give her blow up I did not give her blow up I gave her the clear one it's just a basic clear and she broke it so this is blow up and she won't get it because I like it <laughs> I do I really like it okay. most of these are matte shades and her matte formula is just kind of life-changing I really love it especially because I have been coming from matte lipsticks that kind of felt like crayons and they were very drying so to find beautiful shades 14 to find <laughs> beautiful shades that go so well with brown skin and that are not drying to our beautiful full lips I was sold and I'm the kind of person who, like, if I like it, I'm going to buy it all. I, like it. I am not a fan of satin lipstick. I'm trying, I'm trying to get into satin lipstick. I have four children, for those who don't know, and satin lipstick, little kids, it, it would just be a mess. So, I'm going to start with the nude shades first because... I feel like every woman needs a good nude lipstick. And some of these nude lipsticks out here, who child, I don't even have to tell y'all because you know, you know, you know that you have worn a nude lipstick that made you look real ashy before. You probably bought a nude lipstick that you got it and you were like, what in the world is this? Why does it feel like this? Why does it look like this? Oh my God. So I have five. Is that all? I only have five? Oh my goodness. We have to fix that. Five nude shades and five kind of I have some reds, I have some burgundies, I have some real vampies, so we're going to get into that too. And then I have four of her um, balmy, sheer kind of shades. So two of them are balms and two of them are her new Divinals, um, which I'm thinking about grabbing another one of. I, I don't know yet. So let's start with the nudes, shall we? We shall. So today, 
what I am wearing. I guess I can show you that first since I have it on right. Today I am wearing Beautiful Stranger. Let's look at the Beautiful Stranger. Is that? I don't know. I don't know if it's catching that, but I love this color. It really gives me um, a lot of pink, so I'll swatch it for you. I'm going to swatch on my right arm. Excuse the fact that I was playing with pins with my daughter earlier and this purple just won't come off. Okay, so we're going to do Beautiful Stranger. And there she is. Can you see that? Beautiful stranger. Beautiful rose pink. That I love. Gives you just an effortless nude pink lip. I have it lined with cork by MAC. I do still use MAC's lip liners. Um, I have a few that I'll share today from Pat McGrath as well that I love. But today, I really just wanted laid back nude lip situation. And cork is just that perfect brown. Pat does have, let me look real quick, because Pat does have a new brown. I think I got it. I think I grabbed it. Ground control is one. And then actually I'll swatch the lip pencils later. Her Permagel lip pencils, I love. I'm gonna grab a few more of them today. If y'all want me to do a shop with me, just let me know, okay? Cause I'm down for it. My second favorite, like I wear this color all the time. I think I actually, you know what? This is not Beautiful Stranger. I had on Beautiful Stranger and I wanted to get uh oh wanted to get sassy and add a gloss and i messed up my lip color and so i changed to this color that i'm about to show you gorgeous gorgeous and these are not in like tone order i'm just putting them in the order of how i like them 1995 do you see that 1995 hold on because it did get a little dip on there now this is obviously I've been using this for a couple months now 1995 is more of a if you like velvet teddy from Mac you'll probably like 1995 it's not as brown it's not as brown as velvet yeah. teddy can you see? Can you see? I hope you guys can see me. That is 1995. It is a lot lighter. It's a lot rosier. Um, I, does it not just, just make your lips stand out without being extra? Cause some days I just don't want to be extra. It's not, you know, I have nothing against me being extra. I've learned to embrace it. I really have worked hard for that but today I was like you know what I'm homeschooling it's raining I'm filming let me bring it down a couple notches let me just tone it down okay so then we're gonna go on to the next one which is Venus and furs Venus and furs is very similar to 1995 which is why I'm gonna swatch them next to each other because if you're the person who is like, I don't know which one to purchase, you'll be able to look at these and figure it out. Okay, so here is Venus and Furs. As you can tell, totally different colors, okay? Totally different colors. This is a cooler, <clears throat> a cooler toned rose pink. This is a warmer toned rose, okay? So Venus and Furs, while they do kind of look alike, let me see, is this, no, that's Beautiful Stranger. 1995, let me roll it up for you. 
Venus and Furs. Let me roll it up for you. They almost look alike in the tube. Almost. Almost, but not quite. You can tell this one is darker. And it's much cooler. It has a lot more blue in Venus and Furs than in 1995. 1995 is just, for me, if you are a warm toned woman, you got that golden brown going on, do you in 1995. My next favorite, obviously, I have a lot of favorites from Pat. Clearly. But I really, really love this one. I love who it's named for. I mean, who doesn't? Naomi Campbell is the inspiration behind Omi. A pinky nude. Let's play that one next to Beautiful Stranger. Omi's a little cooler. Beautiful Stranger's a little warmer. Let's line them up next to each other so you can see. So I'm going to put Omi up here. Let me put this back down before I break my doggone lipstick, Lord. Omi is giving me, if 1995 and Venus and Furs had a baby. So here's Omi. Here's Beautiful Stranger. As you can see, they're totally different. Omi is much cooler. Beautiful Stranger, much warmer. Omi is giving me if 1995 and Venus and Furs were to have a baby and and the baby looked like Venus and Furs. That's what Omi is giving me. And then the last pinky nude that I will show you. Um, I, I actually have a couple more on the way so probably should have waited but maybe I'll do an unboxing. Is soft core so here is softcore it is from her divine rose collection okay the divine rose lip collection and i will put this right down here at the bottom this is the brightest of the pinky nudes usually softcore is like the last one that i'll reach for and that's it there so I'm usually here in the spectrum. These I reach for at, at various different times. Softcore gives me like a softer Barbie pink. Which, at the, the beginning of spring, softcore was like one of my go-tos. Softcore and Beautiful Stranger were go-tos. Beautiful Stranger, now that I'm seeing it with all of these, is giving me more coral. Um... But now that it's getting cooler, um, well, not really cooler, it's like hot, hot. But now that it's like the heat of the summer, I'm not really pulling soft core as much as the other ones. So we can get into these. Do y'all want to do the balms next or the dark colors next? Let's do the balms because the darker colors might stain my arm a little bit. I'm going to show you blow up first. This is a mini. The full size was sold out for so long. So long. But it is back. And I am grateful. So it will be a part of my next order. But it is a really beautiful. It's right there. Can you see it? It's a nude pink that I love and I love that her lip fetish I love that her lip fetish balms are um, they're shiny without being greasy and also without being like oily so the, it's just a really good formula I will give it to anybody who is doing their research um, and making great great product formulas because okay so the next one is uh, I'm gonna show you guys all the small ones first this is flesh three which is it's kind 
of a brown red situation. Do you see it there? You see it? I can't see if you guys are seeing it, but I assume you are. So this is soft core. Um, I'm not soft core. This is flesh three. I don't really wear it often at all. Not that I don't like it. <sighs> I think I just feel a little grown in it, like a little older. And this is a full size flesh three. This here is Dark Devotion. Dark Devotion. Now this is a balm. This is not a lipstick. This is a lip balm. I know it looks super pigmented in the tube. Let me show you. Okay. This one here. It's a beautiful sheer cranberry situation okay it is definitely more cranberry than well i'll say raspberry raspberry than flesh three flesh three gives me like a cranberry let's move on to the divinals divinals we have bell amour and I just love the Divinals packaging. This pink chrome is awesome. I will say though that it is significantly smaller than her uh, lip fetish packaging. However, I don't think, so this is 3.5 grams and this is 2.5 grams. So yes, there is a gram of difference, which is pretty significant, yes. Okay, so we're going to do Belle Amour. That's this color here. It's a nice, pretty raspberry color. And the Divinals are not really meant to be balms. They're meant to be a stick-based colored tinted lip gloss. Okay. And they are quite shiny. Hi, Shine. Hi, Shine. Pow. That is it. It is pink. And I really, really, really like this color. Oh, which is like a... a it's, it's what happens when lip gloss and lipstick have a baby. That's what this is. It's sheer but it's not it's shiny but it, it, it's a lot of things it's a very good formula so this one is love interest love interest here why is my arm crooked am i just not doing this swatch thing right y'all bear with me while i learn how to swatch things okay there we go Y'all, don't mind me. So this is love interest. I, I mean, do you not? Do you not love that? Do you not love that color? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And it's really nice when you, when you want to do a lot, when you want to pop in lip, but you don't want to do too much. I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm that person. I don't want to do too much. But I always end up doing too much. And I don't know too much by whose standards. I don't know. I don't know. Because I can hear my best friend on here like, who, who says it's too much? Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just astound myself though. Like, girl, pull it back a little bit. Okay. So now my arm is clean again. And we're going to go into these deep colors. Because, baby, fall is coming. Fall is coming. And your girl about to be cute for fall, even if I'm inside. Mm-hmm. Yes. Even if I'm inside. So let me start with the color that is actually 
very summer I'm getting there with this color I thought when I saw it on the site I mean look at that is that not <sighs> but when I put it on my face I did not like it a liner makes a world of a difference okay I can like mix it and blend it I bought it so I'm gonna wear it um I just thought that I'd be able to wear it on its own and for me I don't like it but I like it with the liner so let me show you it's called executive realness I mean even on the swatch it's gorgeous just such a gorgeous color. I don't know why I cannot get with this color on my face, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. I think when I wear it on my face, it makes me feel like I'm 40. And I'm not 40. But I still think it's gorgeous. There it is. Executive realness. It's executive and it's real. The next one that I like but I don't know I just think I thought I was getting something different so this is full panic and it is a hot pink okay it's, it's, it's electrifying but I think I wanted it to be a little more electric I'm gonna put it up here because it's the lightest I think of all the ones that I have remaining and so that you can see it next to executive realness so I wear this um, full panic I like it I like a hot pink lip if you if you've been following me for any amount of time you know this I like a hot pink lip this is my baby y'all this is this is taken I won't say any names but it rhymes with um, Scooby Moo. And it has definitely taken Scooby Moo's place in my bag, okay? Because I love, this is the perfect red lipstick. Perfect, okay? It's Elson. Okay, back to the shenanigans. Had to get my camera together. That was Elson. Moving on to the colors for fall. I am going to, when I tell you you're going to see these colors on YouTube, on my videos, you will see me rocking these two colors all through fall. I'm not even going to, not even going to wipe off my arm so that you can see the colors next to the other colors. Let me see. Vendetta. Vendetta, one of my favorite movies is V for Vendetta. Ah, Vendetta. Wine realness. Okay, it's a wine red. Let me get all the stuff off. Because I think I tr my daughter tried to touch it and I wiped it. And it's like, man, ah. Anyway, let me show you Vendetta next to Elson. That is Vendetta. Okay, Vendetta definitely gives me close to Elson, but Elson has a little more warmth than Vendetta. Vendetta is when you you not coming to play no games. This baby here, this may be <laughs> y'all not even ready. Y'all are not even ready for how I'm about to act a fool in this color come fall. Y'all not ready. I know y'all aren't ready. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because I'm going to give it to you anyway. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Get you off of the edges of your seats over there. If vampy was a lipstick she should have just named it vampy it's actually called and this is the one i didn't give you the name of because it's just so amazing it's called mcminimi i 
I'm gonna find every reason to wear this color this fall, this winter. It's probably not even gonna get hot here. I mean, get cold here. It's, it's probably going to be hot until January 1st. I'm still gonna wear this color in honor of the cold weather. Now, I told you guys I was going to swatch the lip pencils and I will. I don't want this video to be an hour long. I actually only have, I have four of her lip pencils. Three of them I love. One of them I never use. See, this is why I did the balms first because those colors are super pigmented and my skin stains very easily. Let's really quickly, I'm gonna swatch the pencils on this arm. This first one is my favorite, it is Manhattan. This is the one that is a, it's like a brown and brick red came together and said hello. There it is. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right there. Brown and brick red, I love it. Uh, I love this pencil so much. She's usually sold out of it. I'm gonna go on today and see if she has them back in stock. And if she does, I'm just gonna buy an extra one um, because I really love it. And I know I was not the only one who was hurt when Current from MAC just got discontinued, just got discontinued. It was such a good lip pencil. So, Manhattan is that pencil for me from Pat. This one is Suburbia and I got this in the lip kit, the Divine Rose lip kit um, with soft core. It would be a great pencil with soft core. However, for my skin complexion, it just doesn't work. I cannot wear a pink lip liner, um, really. So that is Suburbia. So this is Manhattan, my fave. This is Suburbia. Let me see. This one here is Living Legend. So this is from her new release. Um, she released... Whew, a good number of lip pencils with her most recent release, which was the Rose Decadence. Um, we are not doing eye products today, but I do have Rose Decadence if you wanted to see it. Not today, though. So this is Living Legend. This is like um, a pinky red. I'm looking at living legend next to suburbia living legend definitely gives me more red whereas suburbia gives me more pink let me just give y'all a little more room there so you can see it i could definitely see lining my um what could i line with this i may be able to line my nudes with this actually i'm gonna give it a try let me see let me see. I can always put my lip back on. Let's just try it while we're all here. Why don't we? Why don't we? So I'm going to carefully deconstruct the lip that I built. Okay. So let's play. <laughs> Am I the only one who does that? Let's play. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And I line my lips like inside. I am not a, a, a over liner. No. I already have big lips. And I like them. Okay, so this isn't bad for a liner. Let me pick 
Let me pick C. Let me pick C. So it won't be McManamy. Let me look over here at my nudes. So y'all it's so hard to pick oh my god so let me just do 1995 because that's what i had on just now let me see how that looks oh yeah oh yeah y'all see that mm-hmm mm-hmm hold on we gotta come over it i need my lip brush so I could blend them right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like it. Now, I'm going to keep the liner, but I'm going to try Beautiful Stranger. And that's, that's going to be it. I'm not going to go and try all of them. But it will give you guys a good look at the difference. Okay. Beautiful stranger. That's what I think about every time I think about beautiful stranger. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Oh yes. it I like it a lot I really do it does make me a little look a little older look like I don't play no games look like somebody rich ain't see or mom <laughs> okay I said I wasn't gonna do any more but just for funsies I'm gonna do Omi as my final color because I don't want to be looking like y'all auntie for the rest of the video. So, let's play. I notice no one ever does their lips on camera on YouTube. I wonder why that is. Omi. And that's another thing I love about Pat McGrath. You can do one swipe. I do more than one swipe because I have problems, but. You can do one swipe. And you are going to get color. Okay? I feel like I look even more like an auntie now, but I digress. Let's get back to it. Last lip pencil, which I'm probably going to put in these outer corners because now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, sometimes you just got to zhuzh it up. Mm -hmm. makes a difference ground control which is a brown is just a brown um, a darker brown so ground control is if you are a Mac chestnut lover ground control gives you that dark brown I only really like dark dark brown on the outer corners of my lips if I'm in a pinch I'll do the dark brown and just blend it um, but generally, I use it for the outer corners. We're going to swatch these glosses, y'all. All these glosses. Now, I'm, I'm going to move quickly. I'm going to move quickly because I know that you're probably just watching this while the kids are taking a nap or while you're on your lunch break or before you go going to bed. And I don't want to keep people up all night, okay? 
So I am wiping up. Wiping. Look at this. Do you see? Do you see? They don't come off easy, y'all. And this is a, a makeup remover wipe. I know it looks like I use it, but I don't. I actually just got it last week. It's just been upside down in the container. Um, one is Blitz Gold. These are her Lust Glosses. And one is Paraphernalia. If you are a unicorn lover, this is your color. I don't know if you can see it, but there are like blue, pink, purple, glittery flecks inside of here but it's not so it's not so glittery that it's offensive if you're a person who likes glitter so it's not going to be so glittery that when you put it on your lips like the glitter feels like gritty not like that at all her lip her lip glosses all all i have not met a pat mcgrath product yet that is not formulated to high heaven like the, the 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 woman the mother as they call her in these makeup streets knows her formulations or whoever's on her team knows her formulations so just really beautiful beautiful even for a shimmer gloss and i don't i'm not i'm not a fan of shimmer glosses not a fan at all because i'm over 30 but if i were Something really ethereal, holographic. This is giving me all kinds of things. I really, I, I want to like this. So I just might. I just might. I don't know. I just haven't worn it yet. This gold, <sighs> y'all, I, I don't even know what I would do with this. But it came in the set, and I'm appreciative, okay? It could be a topper. It would be a gorgeous topper um, for something. I haven't figured out what yet. Maybe for, like, a brown. Because y'all know brown and gold go together. So that is the gold. I don't know if you can see it as well. Because it's, it's more like a clear gloss with a lot of gold shimmer in it this one is nude negligee it should be a nude but it it's it's more of a really light pink and so i have to be really careful when i'm wearing this um because it can come off too light like white almost And you can you can kind of see like if you move it around you can kind of see the white it's it's like a milky pink divine rose again this came in the the divine rose lip kit um, I do not wear it as often as I guess I could or I should but I'll get around to it it's more of a bluey pink shimmer situation and I think it's the shimmer that throws me off. I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of shimmers. So there's Divine Rose. My, one of my favorites is Flesh 5 here. Flesh 5. It is very like skin. Hold on. Because me and these swatches I have to get it more around the arm okay that is flesh five so when I'm feeling extra grown woman and extra I'm not smiling no give you the stale face then I pull out flesh five heavy petal heavy petal is my girl let me do Wicked Whisper first, though, because Heavy Petal is like Bay. Okay, let's do Wicked Whisper right here. Wicked Whisper is my everyday 
nude pink gloss. So I would throw Wicked Whisper over, let's see, let's just see. Uh-huh, see, see? I don't know. Now I feel like I need to blend it in with something. Let's see. Let's just do. I told y'all. I say I'm not gonna do too much. Look at the look at the lip gloss on my teeth. I say I'm not gonna do too much, and I end up way in California somewhere. My husband's gonna be like, that's not how your lips looked when I left out of there. I know. Your wife, just being your wife. Okay. Y'all, don't, ju don't judge me for this lip. I was doing things. Y'all saw me doing things. Okay. So this is Wicked Whisper. And I got to stop flailing my arms all around because then I'm going to get lip gloss everywhere. Moving on to Heavy Petal, which is, I, I probably wear this lip gloss like almost every day. I just really love it. Do you see this gorgeous pink here? I'm I'm even sad that I have to swatch it because now I can't wear that little bit. Cause I literally heavy petal and this little baby here. I don't know if she pronounces it Twilo or Twilo, but it's amazing. It is a gorgeous coral shade, and these two colors together, <sighs> force to be reckoned with. I already have an extra one of these because it's just that good. Twillow. Let me give you Twillow. It is a clean, she describes it as a clean coral gloss and that is exactly what it is it is a little close to heavy petal but you can see how if you layer twillow over heavy petal you get the most beautiful <sighs> springtime brown girl pink situation i'm so glad it's still hot because i can still wear these together and i don't look crazy and then the most recent one that I have gotten and loved is Blood 2. Now, Blood 2 pairs really well over her red lipsticks. That's why I actually got it because I love a matte lip. My husband loves a glossy lip. So, I, whenever I'm wearing Elson, he's like, oh, that's nice. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Where's your gloss? And I'm not about to put any of these colors over a red gloss. First of all, I could possibly get, I mean a red lip. I could get away with nude negligee. It would look a little weird, but then my doe foot would have red on it. And I'm not about to have all these extra doe foot applicators around here because then my daughter would get into them and they would be everywhere day two. So let me show you blood. If you don't love this red gloss, baby, do you see it? I know you see it. I know you see it. Blood to beautiful red lip gloss. And that's it. That's, that's, that's my entire Pat McGrath lip collection. I know it's not as big as, you know, some folks is, but 
it's nice and I love it and I only have well I, I don't only have colors I love but I only bought colors that I thought I would love um, and yeah ex except the ones that I got in kids I will share what was originally on my lips <laughs> In the description box, I will also share what's on the rest of my face in the description box. Um, and yeah, if there's any other content specifically that you would like to see, I do have some more beauty content coming. But if there's any other um, specific content that you would like to see around femininity, around beauty, around maintaining, keeping, keeping it all together, keeping it all together. Um, let me know. Let me know. I mean, I do what I can, okay? I'm not here saying I'm put together every single day. Probably four out of seven days out of the week. Um, so if you need help, I mean, that's what I'm here for. Um, any kind of tips, advice that I could help you with, feel free to reach out and ask. I love doing these videos. I love creating content. So I love talking about all things womanhood. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say peace. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Hop on here and give me a little thumbs up if you loved it. That's how, that's how I know to keep going. Because otherwise, I'll just sit in the mirror and talk to myself. Honestly, I will. Bye, y'all.